here at Springbank Links with our superintendent, Cody. Today, Cody, we're gonna be starting a new series called our maintenance or our turf care series. We're gonna learn and go in detail with a lot of different information about what happens on the peripheries of the golf course, under the ground of the golf course, a lot of the different unique things that most people are not aware of when you come to a golf course and what happens and how a golf course is taken care of. Here we are on one of our greens. These are the lifeline of the business. Everybody wants great greens. And definitely probably the most important thing that you're thinking about through the winter. Talk to us all the way through when you put the greens to bed in the fall and then what keeps you up at night during the winter and then no what you're problem. looking for this time of the year you as bet. well. Absolutely, so going into the winter season, uh, obviously our greens are gonna be, at, well, we're gonna have as much fertilizer, we're gonna have everything in it to prepare the roots to store as many carbohydrates to convert to energy throughout the winter. So we try and load them up, get them ready for the season, get them ready for cold. And then at the same time, we're also putting fungicides down. And so we need to be doing that in order to prevent diseases. So tell us, so for somebody that doesn't know what a fungicide yeah, is, so, what does that do? So the fungicide, basically it's like a contact. And so what it's gonna do, it's coating the plant. It's kind of giving it that protection. It's getting inside the cells of the actual plant and it's preventing any disease to make its way in or spread to other grasses right. uh, surrounding it. So uh, an example here, we're looking at the bent grass. Yep. And so I give it a bit more of a top dress. That's why we have a little bit residual sand left. Uh, that'll, that'll come out as the season goes. Moisture, right. once it's raining, wind, she'll go. <clears throat> so the bent grass has better resistance against the cold. Okay. And so with that, excuse me, with the fungicide, it helps it out, gets a little stronger, but then when we look at sections like this, this will yep. be the invasive poa, poana, you may right, have heard. Right. And so it doesn't have as good of resistance against it. So, so what, the difference between bent grass and poana, they're actually different types of grasses that's that right. both grow on the green. Exactly. Right. And so some courses work and manage the greens to keep poa out. Right. But then a lot of the time you can just treat both of them. So that's why you'll right. see lots of different colors happening on this green. Um, and then the pola plant, the root system's only gonna be penetrating like a couple inches into the soil. And bent grass, my roots are about this long. Right, and, and if I'm recalling right, I mean, I'm not an agronomist, but uh, I think a poanya is an annual grass. That's right. And a bent grass is not. Exactly. So totally different. That's right. right. Bent yeah. grass will maintain it in, itself in the soil. It'll yeah. send out uh, different stolons to get growing. Um, and then the poa just reseeds itself. Right, so here where we are in Canada, a poa might have a very shallow root base of a couple sure. inches. Yeah. And that bent grass could be 12 inches deeper exactly. than that even? Exactly, right. yeah. Okay. And then you could have that poa seed in the soil for years right. and years. I believe even where polar ice caps are melting back, poas <laughs> popping up. Oh, and we're gonna see right. an ice cap and our own we little glacier. Sure are. Back to the fungicide for one second. Yep. Is it foolproof? Is it work every time? Is there nope. risks? Is there no, things that can happen? Absolute risk. Uh, we're lucky enough here in Canada that we can use similar products every year. But if you're down in the States, you have to have a rotation. You have to go through different groupings. Right. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it works very well. It keeps it from getting out of control. But okay. sometimes, as we see here, yep. it doesn't fully protect. Yeah, so these some of these areas that are a little bit more sparse that you can see down yep. here, these would be some of these POA areas you're, you're, you're That's referencing, right. right? And then when you look at it, you can actually see the uh, the POA is starting to come through it already. Right. Yeah. So this would be actually a bent grass area, yeah. and this would be a POA area. Yeah. It's even a little bit different color. That's right, yeah. Different textures and different, uh, it just reacts differently when the ball rolls across it. Now, from so, a golfer's perspective, what is the playing condition like different from a bent grass versus a poa? So bent grass bends over, poa stands up perfectly. Okay. And so you're gonna have less resistance across the poa. Um, whereas the bent grass, you can, you can manage it, you can get more leaf blade out of it. And uh, I prefer bent grass, it's easier to work with. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, easier to manage in a sense, but that being said, they both come with their challenges. Yeah, so. And some people really like a POA surface. Yeah, if it's a, absolutely. To, a yeah. solid POA surface, it's people, beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. It really is, yeah. yeah. But there are risks of it coming through the winter and challenges sure. with that as well. That's right. Right. Okay, let's let's take off. Uh, we've learned a little bit about it. Um, is there any risks as it relates to, you know, these greens look awesome, mm -hmm. right? We're just coming out of the, 
the golf season or coming into the golf season, can greens die in the winter? Absolutely, yeah. We can have desiccation from wind. We yeah. can have, like it just loses all moisture. Uh, any ice that happens on here, it's gonna be, give it a winter kill, which that, the term would be anoxia, so it doesn't have an opportunity to breathe and it just collects with gases underneath the ice. So it literally suffocates the plant? it out, that's right. Okay. And then, uh, so we don't like that. So any, any ice I find on tarps, I'm working to get rid of it right. instantly. And then early season, when it's snowing, I'm pushing snow off these greens all the time. Right and on. then I'm waiting for that big freeze to come. Yeah. And then I'm waiting for a nice blanket of snow to start. And then I leave them. And then uh, you just hope that it's, <laughs> you hope it's working until right. the snow's gone. And then you know in the spring how right. it went. Well, these greens look absolutely incredible. Super excited for the year because we don't always get greens that come out that look That's this right. good, right? No, so I'm, I'm pretty happy myself. Yeah. It's, uh, and uh, yeah, we, we have to treat each green a little differently depending how much of the environment is affecting it right? and where it is on the golf course. But Cody, just one more question I'm curious about because I'm not totally sure. What would the difference in the green speeds be between the poa and the bent grass? So yeah, bent grass, we're putting across the leaf blade, whereas poa has the tendency to stand straight up. Right. And so you're gonna be putting across the top of those leaf blades and there's gonna be less resistance essentially against the ball. But then it's that all comes back to cultural practice on how you're managing it. Yeah. Are you getting the grass to stand up? Or is it lying down? It's, it's, it's how you're making that turf present itself. Right. So. And we do things like rolling our greens, right? Absolutely. In order to make them quicker in certain days. For certain sure. Times. Height of cut affects your roll. Um, and then you're rolling the actual greens. We, we found that we get about 10 hours a firmness from a rolling okay and so i try to incorporate that every day yeah. we don't necessarily mow every day because right. it's very stressful on the greens yeah um but we just try and make sure that we, we got everything covered keeping a consistent putting keep it surface. consistent that's yeah. exactly right right on yeah cody this has been awesome here we are today in our first maintenance turf care series learning about greens as they come out of the winter in canada Stay tuned for part two, because we're going to learn more about some of the challenges in Calgary, in Canada, what it takes to get a golf course open. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. More than 90% of you that are going to watch this video are not subscribed. All you got to do is click that button. Of course, hit that like button, that notification bell. We'll see you next time.